Cheers. Okay. Today's video is about boring yourself to death. Boring yourself to death, okay? Why? Why do you bore yourself to death? No, I don't think I do, Ashitha. Yes, you do, okay? We all do. Let me tell you what has been going on the last couple days. I have been planning a big launch for a new program, TBD, soon to be announced, that I'm going to announce. I've been planning that launch. I've been planning the actual program. I'm planning a mentorship program for young girls in Detroit that I lead. I'm starting a new leadership program separate from all of that. Then one just has to live life, eat, sleep, breathe, work out, have self-care, go outside, have a dance party, right? Lots of stuff going on. And what I have been finding myself doing is A, procrastinating like a mofo. Like a mofo. And <clears throat> the second thing is making excuses for myself. I mean, and I'm telling you, the level of excuses I make is just, they're very real to me, okay? They're very real. Now, let me give you some preface of what the hell I'm talking about right now. 2016 was a hard year for me. If you, have, if you read my post, if you're on our newsletter, you know. I've written about it a few times. 2016 was very hard. It was like, I went through a breakup, I moved back to Detroit, I spent a few months in this house, my parents' house, um, I moved to Thailand for three months, I basically stopped my business for the first end of last year, first part of 2016, I was burned out, stressed out, I lost hair, can you believe I lost like my hair, it was falling out like crazy, it was hard, okay? And because of that, like, I worked really hard to get my energy back. I worked really hard to, like, you know, heal myself from my breakup. Oh, God, I still get emotional talking about all of this. <clears throat> I worked really hard to... That's the garbage disposal because my mom is cooking. You're going to hear it, like, ten more times. Okay, sorry. I worked really hard to get my energy back, to get myself back, to get my self-love back, and to start running my business again. And it was just hard overall. Oh, I don't have any napkins here, so this is what it's going to have to be. Sorry. Okay. And all of those things were hard for me to do, you know? Like, it took a lot of time. It took a lot of healing. It took a lot of effort. And I did it. <clears throat> I spent the whole freaking year healing and doing me and doing whatever the fuck I wanted, really. And getting, listening to my intuition again and learning about who I am again. And what I found is, is I, I am back. She's back. Da -na 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 -na. I'm back and meaning I'm, I'm really feeling like myself again. I am running things. I'm doing my business. I'm serving in a way I like to serve. I'm dancing. I'm doing all of those things. And the fall was like the best season ever for me because that was sort of the culmination of my healing and me getting creative and feeling creative again. Okay, but what's the point, Ashita? The point is within all of this, now, cut to <clears throat> March of 2017, so since fall, I've been feeling really amazing. I find myself freaking the F out because all of these new things, and there are a lot of new things that I have on my plate. Oh, I'm dating. Okay, that in and of itself, I could write a book about right now. But anyway, all of that is new. This new leadership program is new. It's going to take up a lot of time. This new program I'm so excited about, but I'm terrified of it because it's so close to my heart. It's everything that I have learned in the last 10 years. I swear to God, it is all the good tools and skills that I have learned in the last 10 years. Um, it's called Freedom to Thrive. So it's all about thriving and how I have learned how to thrive. But it's scary. It's scary because it's new. I'm doing it differently. This mentorship program that I'm doing with these girls, I'm the mentor, I'm the one putting it together. 
I am on the line to help these girls in their future. There's a lot going on. I'm vulnerable when I'm dating. It's like all this new stuff. And I find myself, when, especially when I have to go to do something, that resistance, Stephen Pressfield, my man, my friend. Um, he's got a new book out, actually. It's fiction. It's so good. Um, and he wrote a note inside that says, to Shifa. Anyway, um, it, it, it's scary. And so when I'm left to my own devices, I sit in my fear sometimes and just freak out like a crazy person. And really, you know, when I'm tasked with writing the launch, planning the launch, just, I tend to get really scared. And so then what starts to happen? Boom, resistance enters. And what starts to happen? Well, I just got my self-care back. I just stopped running my mom's office. So I've only just now gotten my energy back. You know, Rav and I stopped talking in June. So it's only really been six, seven, eight months since all of that. Not really a full year. Or I only just now feel like myself again. So how can I, do I want to really commit to doing all of these things? And all of these excuses, one after another, after another. And I mean, I wrote, I journaled yesterday for like an hour and a half. And like I had excuse after excuse after excuse. And, and honestly, I've heard myself in the last few months when I go to do something or commit to something, these things keep popping up and I hear myself and I want to smack myself because I hear it and I'm like, oh, how many times are you going to say this? How many times are you going to write about it? How many times are you going to tell someone about it? So you're saying the same thing. I remember in 2000 end of 2014, I was so burned out from my business. I'd call my brother and my sister or they would call me and they'd be like, Hey, how are you? I would just say, so tired. So tired. I just remember saying that so much. Tired, tired, tired. And after a while they were like, F you do something about it. Or God, you've been tired for a full year. Anyway, I ended up being in adrenal fatigue, okay? For all you people who just felt like nothing was going on. You know who you are. But the point is, it's boring. I got bored. And so yesterday when I was, you bore yourself to ultimately change. I gotta be in a lot of pain to change or I gotta bore myself to death to change. Um, so my point is I just bought myself more time. I am forgetting my whole thing. I'm f literally forgetting this whole topic. Oh, I need some ginkgo ASAP. Um, the point is I'm boring myself. So yesterday when I was going to plan this launch, because Michelle, my, she's on my team for my business, is waiting on me to send this to her. And I'm saying, yeah, 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 I'll get it. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm so not on it. And I was just freaking out because it's new and I haven't planned a launch in two years. And then all these excuses started. And I just said, stop. You're boring the hell out of me right now. I mean, I was saying that to myself. And I was just getting so bored and I just laughed. I just had to laugh. And so what I chose to do instead was, because I knew these excuses aren't real. Yes, the things that happened to me are real. And yes, the healing that I had to do was real, of course. But what I did was I wrote out all the things that I still wanted to like, that were precious to me. My self-care, my energy, my dance parties, my feeling of like freedom and like who I knowing who I am. I want to hold these things so dear that what I did was I wrote them out and then I wrote out, I'm a mess today. <laughs> and then I wrote out the ways that I would keep those consistent, that I would keep doing those things. So like how to have my dance parties every day. Well, don't override the instinct to when the sun is shining. And even if you're in the middle of something, you want to go do it, do it for 10 minutes. Don't wait until the perfect time to go do it and then feel like you have to do it for 45 minutes. Or my self-care, like put into place the fun social stuff that I want to do or my trips or my, you know, face masks, whatever I want to do, put that into place instead of just override, override, override. Because what's happening is when I'm listening to these excuses, I'm still not prioritizing the things that I find precious. 
even if I'm freaking out about this launch, whatever, and I'm sitting there, I'm not necessarily doing a mud mask or going for a walk or being in nature. I'm Netflixing, right? That's how you know that those two things do not equate. That's how you know that this isn't real. And that's how I really realized that it wasn't real because I was in fear, I was in anxiety, and I still wasn't doing the things that I oh so cared about, that I, the things that I was actually making excuses about. Oh, but I'll lose my self-care. Oh, but you're not doing it right now. Hello? You're not doing it right now. So I wrote, out, I wrote out all the things that I would actually do to put these things into place properly, okay? Properly meaning in a way that I wouldn't override them. And then what I did was I just laughed at myself and I just said, stop fucking making excuses. Stop fucking making excuses right now. Stop. I mean, when I was writing my journal entry, I was laughing, laughing, laughing. These people at this coffee shop must have thought I was insane because it was so crazy, all the things that I was doing. Even as I think about it now. Stop making excuses for yourself. Or at least stop making the excuses that you know are not legit. The ones that you know are bollocks. They're bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Okay? Stop making those ones at least. Or if you can think about the excuses that run through your head on a daily basis or the one that keeps coming up, keeps coming up. My one that kept coming up was, oh, but I just got my energy back. Okay, so what? Keep it then. Stop giving it away to Netflix and Hulu. Okay, so think about that one and you're really just going to have a laugh about it because it's not legit. It's smoke. It's not legit at all. And you know that, okay? You know that. You know it in your heart when you can laugh at yourself and it's not real. So my advice to you today is think about the excuses that run into your head remove those ones, and, and actually journal about it. Really, at the root of this is fear. Fear that you are going to lose something. Very important to you. All of those things are very important to me. Who I am, my self-care, my energy. You know, I was so burned out for so many years for multiple reasons, but it's extremely important to me. So write out how you are going to really, really, really um, put that into place. <sighs> And then you can breathe a little bit easier. Then you end up breathing a little bit easier because it feels like you've addressed the root fear of losing that thing. And you don't have to lose it. I certainly am not going to lose it. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to lose it. So that's really all I have to say in this video. Like it. It's so long. This video is like so long. Like it, please subscribe and please share it. I will always go above and beyond to share the stuff that makes a difference to me. So do that, be the person in the, li in the lives of others who is like that persistent mofo that just sends it because you always want people to feel the magic that you feel in your life. That's the only reason I share stuff with people, even if they're like, please stop sharing with me. Um, okay, thanks, I love you.